a question about your magic beans. Oh, yeah, here. And REW. Is this Dr. Roboto? Dr. Roboto again. All right. <clears throat> Joe, will the magic beans app make use of other tools like SACT, so that's Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, REW? Will it require a calibrated mic? Um, what can I say about it right now? Because I do know the answers to these questions. I'm just not sure what I'm allowed to say. Ah, I guess I'm I'm the owner. I'm allowed to say whatever I want. I don't know if it's yeah. what, what I should say. Um, so, yes, it can use the spatial audio calibration toolkit, and it actually makes things easier because if you wanted to calibrate your entire system, meaning height speakers, then I'm going to need to be able to play test tones through those speakers and a specific set of test tones, which are available on the toolkit. If you don't have the toolkit, then you're going to have to kind of swap out wires, you know, to find a way to play the, you know, the noise that we need, you know, the tones that we need. Mm -hmm. So uh, the toolkit is definitely useful for that. REW, it's uh, it's useful in a sense, uh, kind of like post, post uh, magic beans to see if the things that we did, the EQ that we applied is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's something that no automatic EQ seems to do, right? It says, you know, you take a before measurement, it gives you an after prediction, but it never, never asks you to like, you know, actually see if it, it did it correctly. Ours doesn't either, but that's one way you could use REW is to see, does it follow the target curve that we've set? Also, I like to use it because uh, I find that setting your your subwoofer levels is crucial to making it sound awesome, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, now that we're knowing all the weird things that Odyssey can do with the editor app, like sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you want. Uh, Multi-Q X is much better, but you want to verify that your subs are in line with your main speakers, right? After you're all done doing this, once you have a target, so we're going to spit out a target curve for your specific room, uh, you can overlay that, right? So you can actually, you know, put that in REW and take a look at it and see, okay, your speakers are, are following this target curve, but then is your sub high enough in level to also meet that target curve? Once you get that set, then, yeah, I know you're going to have awesome sound. So yeah, does it? Oh, does it require a calibrated mic? Uh, it says there that we recommend using a calibrated mic just because the mics are just better. But we want people to be able to use any mic, even your phone mic, right? The only problem with the phone is, well, the response on these is not good. But we have workarounds for that that uh, I'm very proud of, right? That you can use a horrible mic. Like this. Uh, the problem is that, you know, you have to be careful to not clip these mics. The main thing about these is they're really bad when it comes to like high SPL stuff. So, you know, our app doesn't test to see if like, you know, you're clipping, but you should be able to tell because we're offering like a live trace there that shows you. So if you see that thing just flattening out, probably clipping. But yeah, uh, yeah, we want it to work with various, various mics. And it does. After every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily hi-fi.